Yo, let's go Yamato, Yagago Knight. Honestly, I think it's gonna come down to a little bug gap, guys. Not gonna lie, I, I think I think Ruler is just god mode. I don't know what to say, guys. I like Elk. I love Elk. Love me some Elk, man. But... Mm, Ruler's on one. But the one outlier was that JDG's first blood rate was at 48%. Holy, we're starting early today, guys. Our dominate schedule is completely fucked. I feel bad for the boy. All right, JDG Fiora ban. Cannon out on red. Wow, they're putting some respect on 369 cannon. Zeddy's also out. How about Annie ban? Annie is in. Do we get a little Annie first pick here, baby? Boom. Read him like a book. Boom. Annie's OP, guys. Aphelios, a little Elk Aphelios. Let's see Ruler with a, 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 a little bit of a Jinx of Varus as a response. Bro, there's a, there's a difference in class of Annie players. Knight Annie is really insane. Like how he holds his spells, it's he's, he's legit Annie master, man. I think you have to go Wu here. I really don't like Vie going to Wukong. I think that shit is unplayable. All right, we got Vi and how about a little AD? Jinx. Ooh. Now the question is, we're going to see Trash here. Oh, your yeah, goat. Your yeah, goat. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him, your yeah, goat. Honestly, rarely. Like three, uh, Vega is good versus 369 champs. Yeah, but playing Vega against Vi. Jinx, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. But Vega is pretty OP on the patch, so I think you can get away with picking Vega in unoptimal spots. It's still a champion that scales well, gives a lot of value. It's all Gucci, man. It's all Gucci. Sion out. Sayonara. That's what they say. Gwendolyn out. Nah, the, the Dom is going to be so tilted. Uh, Vi has counterplay with the R, right? She can get through the cage. And hot CC can be decent. But Vegar current in his current state is so strong uh, because of Road of Ages. Yeah, I'm happy that I woke up early, guys. Ooh, a little Blitzcrank maybe? Animate Blitzcrank? I really like Blitzcrank here. Blitzcrank! I kind of like the Blitzcrank angle more here. But missing missing Lulu is, is a G. All right, he start a little chunk. Bonk. Bonk. Do you have a favorite here? Uh, honestly, the first game... First game is hard to say. We have Gigabin on Jax into Kekona. Yeah, yeah, the game already started. Oh, missing just about flashes. Missing. But that hook from on absolutely gorgeous. With the flashlight. When tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own. Yeah, my flashlight. All right, I'm going to not sing anymore. Pitch perfect. All right, on. Hard to flash here. Hard to flash. He's in the pocket. Okay. I missed the opening ceremony too. If you had to make a lineup with only these players who you're going with, honestly, it's hard to change anyone on blue side. I don't think I would change anything on, on, on JDG. Missing no flash, but Yagao has cookies. Oh, missing Stone Cold, he's a better yordle. Oh, 369. 369. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Maybe someone in chat knows. Alright, cleanses out. This Drake is shitty, so nobody really cares about it. Fuck the Drake. Cassandra has TP. Bind solves his TP disadvantage into with, with this crispy move. I don't know how much I like this from Kanavi, but... Let's see if there's a punish. Yaga is low mana. Sibba's advantage in mid. Yeah, okay. Are they psycho enough to enter this? Are they psycho? Oh, they are psycho enough. They are psycho enough. Oh, look at that root. Oh, good flash. Flash the stun. Your goat. Oh, so excited! Oh, okay. I thought there's a chance Ruler's gonna reach level 6 here, but it's a bit too early in the game. Bro, Billy Billy are so crazy, man. 
take that. And like you said, there, I believe not. He but Jinx getting two kills that. here is the worst thing possible. It's the worst thing possible. <laughs> Honestly, Ruler is so cringe. Like, have a slump for once in your career. Like, have a social life. I beg. <laughs> Uh, that's one of your best, Steph Curry. <laughs> that is one of the one of the best. Okay, it's not the walk, but the fact that Knight committed to this though is kind of kind of meh. All right, three six nine. You better W. All right, dash the hook. I think they need to start with Wukong R and the hook, and then hope that my boy three six nine doesn't W it. But this is this is GG, guys. This is GG. Not gonna lie, the, the, the Jinx has way too much gold. Rulers fed as fuck, dude. This is what he this is what he meant when he told uh, Pace to eat more. It had nothing to do with nutrition. It's about minions. He's just warning him. He's just warning him for Chovy. He, like Cho Oh missing. Missing. Okay. This is baiting ults. This is baiting ults, kids. Baiting ults for flash. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Missing. Missing is like doing this. This shit, dude. This is the equivalent of like someone falling down the stairs, you know? And then like on the last stair, he just like jumps and like stands up and pretends he's not injured and like walks away, you know? Dusts himself up. <laughs> I knew he could dodge everything with the champ size of 55 units. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yordles are just OP, no? Yordles are actually OP. Think about it. Every Yordle is broken. Tristana, Lulu, Vagar, Nar, Annie. Annie's a Yordle, let's be honest. Poppy kind of sucks ass. Rumble is OP. Heimerdinger. Oh, it's Gadushim. Damn! Look at that flash window. Oh, JDG is on fire, guys. JDG is on fire. Vega versus Vi, as I said. <laughs> Yo, the like Vi is one of the few junglers that can actually connect you to Vega. You know, it's like if if Annie Vega, if Annie Jinx Vi is showing, it's probably like some of the best one two threes you can pick into Vega. Did you know that Warwick has same hitbox as Timo? Yeah, I, I saw the video. Bro, League of Legends is my life. Of course, I check out this Vanderil video. Okay, let's say, let's say this game, enemy jungle would be Vi, then maybe like Morgana mid could be good. I think if if you pick Morgana mid, you need to be ready to be a straight up dog. I just need to be with a straight up. You just need you're a, you're a dog, and when you're a dog. You better have some good ass champions on your team with leashes. For example, like, like let's say you have a, I don't know. Like, like this case is fine because Jinx actually has the power to 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 win the game. But Fuck, I can't find a good version. <laughs> Live dumb reaction. Oh, I missed the setup for this one. Okay. Oh, Knight missed. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. Very bad from Knight. Full root. Oh! Holy shit. Bro, Billy Billy tried to, like, JDG tried to cross through Satan's armpit while I was looking for a picture on, on, on Google. Give me a replay on that. Give me a replay on that. All right, let's, let's take a look at this setup. Why are they trying to cross this little choke point? Like, this choke point here, like, like Ruler doesn't want to go here. Look at him. 
Look at Annie, man. Annie's on that Pioshik flank. And then flash Tibbers into miss everybody, man. He hates the floor. The floor hates him. The relationship between night and the floor. Uh, terrible, terrible. Yes. Tabe is cool. Tabe is cool. He's chilling. He's like, it ain't over until it's over. This is a very tight game now. Jackson's better position for the little TP angle. Holy, look at that. They gave Ben this rift herald. Giga Ben. Okay, once again, the Tibbers does nothing. Oh, out, 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 out. Go mid, 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 mid. Meanwhile, getting taken out. You're right. The rapid fire cannon on the jinx. He's doing a lot of work for the counter strike. Okay. Bro, so many drakes become so tense where no one can really engage or pressure forward. And, like, I think if anything here, maybe a goat could have pushed forward to look for, like, leverage his HP and leverage the fact that Jinx has no cleanse. And I think there would have been maybe more potential here. Yo, villain, I think very much for the prime game. I appreciate you. All right, knight. Oh, knight. Leveraging that Road of Ages HP with the Rylai's. Jun should be dead. Jun should be dead. Oh, <laughs> can Ben clean? Sweeping, he's got the broom. Swoop, 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 swoop. Holy, what a save. What a save, man. I think that he, Aphelios might have bought them some odds here on, on the Nash to actually, like, fight back. The ruler has cleanse. All right, they fought back. No problem. I think still the ruler got money, cash money. Okay, we'll just replay into 369 is... Can he get out? W, E. Oh! Country roads. Take me home. To the place. I belong. 369. He got out somehow. All right, give it to us. Ruler's gonna carry this fight, man. Ruler, Ruler has too many panic buttons, man. Boom. 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 Oh, hook down. Cleanse down. Boom. He's shooting. He's still shooting. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Boom. Headshot. Oh, Ruler's enjoying himself, man. Like fish in a barrel. Oh, oh, oh. This just stings. Dish, 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 dish. What on earth are they thinking? Why are why are they fighting this? Rulers, this is what he meant when he said pace. You have to eat more. Don't let your mid laner take your minions. Okay, Kesanta's taking Nexus. They have to engage. Missing is gonna die. He got bonked. Bin is showing. That is the Gale Force value we talked about. Boom, boom, boom. Gets one. Can he take another? Hachenjo. E is up for Yagao. Yagao is E. Yagao is E. Can we get a little nice E here, Yagao? All right. Shamrock. Can I be a bit too tanky? Okay, this is not what we want to do, JGG. We can, we can end the game. We can end the game, guys. I guess we're having fun. You have fun. You deserve it. You guys are fantastic, man. You guys are gorgeous. Kindred ban, please. Wow, Kindred open. I think Vi value is pretty high here. Vi value is pretty high. Vi Ari, straight up. Okay, Wukong. Kindred. Damn, that's a weird rotation. I didn't think they would invite this. Let's see what they target ban from Ben. I hope... They don't have the confidence to... Yeah, thank God. I want to say, please ban Camille. No meme. No meme. Don't invite the Blitzcrank angle. Like, if if, if you pick Tradition 4 and you play into Blitzcrank, you don't want that smoke. I'm telling you. Just don't pick Tradition 4, please. Fiora. All right. Rakan. I am Rakan. Last pick Renekton. Last pick Renekton is actually really good. He just slams Blitzcrank anyway. <laughs> the fucking psychopath. <laughs> I love it though. I love it. Respect. 
Quesante. Nar. Don't invite the Gragoon, man. We're inviting the Gragoon today. 369. Probably Chinese players, they call Graga something really fucked up. Would that surprise you? I think I think JDG draft looks very good. I mean, sorry, Billy Billy draft. It looks very Billy Billy to me. I think it's fair that... Uh, ooh, ooh, a little W? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Anything for the kindred. I'll take that trade any day of the week, guys. I'm a spellbook, Galio. My kindred's gonna get a kill. She's gonna get a kill. She's gonna first base noon quiver. She's gonna get a first base noon quiver. She's gonna clear her jungle faster. I'm gonna enjoy her help. I'm gonna ult on her head. It's gonna be a good time. There's the noon quiver, baby. Double noon quiver. A little freeze in the both sides. But you, you're gonna want to slow push this anyway, like this Drake is a bit too important. Ooh, Mark Seafood. Love me some Mark Seafood. Galio's on the case. Huge Drake. Nice. Ghost for ghost. Elk has some good ass weapons. Jinx is for sure the weaker laner in Tophelios. Jinx is fucking useless early game in comparison to some of the stronger lane ADs. She can push, burn her mana, has a strong W, can poke. But if she's in all in fights. Boom. Damn. Flashing over the rock and W as well, Elk. Gorgeous. That's the Blitzcrank, baby. We have a series on our hand. They're just trying to follow whatever the wind is. He's dead. Oh, the CC chain. Did the E just get blocked by... Ari has two stacks. Does the Ari ult run out? Oh, it doesn't run out. Boom. Oh. Two resets. That's a big comeback. Something something was strange here. What happened to Galio's E? Why couldn't they CC chain the Ari? Boom. If Korea did this, guys. Best support in the world. Alright, so this happened. And then what happened to Galio E? Oh, Galio E got blocked by the Kong. Damn. The Wukong blocked the, the Galio E. Look how many resets this uh, Ari is getting, by the way. It's, it's not so. Missing also played this fight really nice. Alright, we're back in the game. Ari is very strong. Honestly, it would have been close. Wow. Knight has no ult. Kanali has a little cyclone in the bank, though. As game is fucking over, guys. The city is over. Not gonna lie, missing has been... Really good this game. Uh, this is not the fight you want to take, uh, Billy Billy. This is not the fight where you want smoke, my friend. Ooh. This is not the fight you want, Billy Billy. Goodbye, Billy Billy. Oh, sevens in the chat, guys. Fucking oh, psychopaths even posturing for this. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah, this is today is a banger actually. Goodbye, Shun. Oh, 
I don't know how to bro this. Love Island Goat. In the first series between these two teams. Oh, oh, Kanavi with the W. Using all the Wukong mechanics in the bank. W and Dirty R. What is the Prage moment for Billy Billy? I think Billy Billy need the sick Wombo combo. They need the Galio W on 15 people. They need Wukong to really grief it. They need someone to get hooked before the fight. And basically, uh, we need to hook Jinx before the fight starts. Jinx gets one shot and then boom. Okay, this might be a moment. Give us a little hook. Never mind, it's smoked. Everybody with the map. What well, map awareness? Alright. Actually, this Kisanta build is so broken. Like, look at what. 369 has itemized for everyone in the game except the Galio and just one shots him. I think Keram Kass, if you're looking at this game and you think Jinx is the problem, you need to go to an optician. I will not yield. Yeah, Galio definitely feels like he's from 2011. Bro, missing Rakan is the cleanest, dude. Uh, JDG is just winning MSI. They're winning worlds. They are winning everything, man. FF, by the way. FF. It's done. It's done. GG's, guys. GG's. Can I analyze the draft for noob like me? So basically, Aphelios is in a position where he can fourth pick support. So any bans that Billy Billy do to try to set up their own blind can hurt them because they have the option of picking four or on five. At the bin effect, the Jax hasn't even worked so far. Lissandra is turbo value against all of these low rage champions, good into Ari, and Vi doesn't have a target. Lissandra value is already massive, and you know that Lissandra is going to have value into the bin champion pool too, and with that being said, JDG just can pick whatever the fuck they want on four. Do they just slam Nautilus now? Oh, okay, Kench. Well, there's some odds now. Missing Kenshi, yeah, I can accept it. Tom is really good into Vi, of course. And now Ben has to go for the blind pick. This is 369's opportunity to take over. Because with a Lissandra in the mid lane and an Aphelios that wants to play for later on in the game. Do you guys have link to Pro View? Let's watch Knight. Let's watch Knight Lissandra, guys. Do you have links? Oh, he did. Imagine dying to this night. Nah, we're not watching you anymore, man. How hard is 369 getting fisted, by the way? This is base advantage bin with better condition post TP. Bin is slamming him. Rift Herald is not that clean cut. I, I, I believe red side is a little bit easier. Vi is clearly superior. I think the more important aspect of that is more about the fact that the AD carry meta and the mid meta was very good for Vi. Here come the boys. Here come the boys. The boys. The boys. Oh, the knock of the Zeland. Night saving R. I don't know why Lissandra didn't R. I think with Lissandra R's, you can actually connect with the. Well. Rough. It's an LPL finals. Okay, Ben. Snip, snip, motherfuckers. Yo, 369 doesn't have ghosts for some reason. For some reason, 1v1, he lost ghosts. Why isn't Ben playing ghosts? I'm not so sure. I would have I ran ghosts this game. Maybe it's specific into Kisanta? 
don't know, Ghost... Ghost sounds right. Viking maybe use Herald uh, to create a better uh, positioning, but the fact that uh, they burn Sums on bot is a game changer. It's like no sums on bot coming into this Drake. I think that uh, red side should be very favored. I think Kanavi also has Divine Sundere here. So, there it is. This is a black cleaver base now for, for Vi. Alright, Gwen is walking over here. Billy Billy about to try to leverage uh, the, the, the gap. We have... Ah, uh, Ben. Ben walked away all, all the way here for nothing, man. Ben showed out to the party and there's no drinks, no biscuits, nothing. Kanavi is breathing down the neck. Yeah, they're spotting that JDG's play pattern is kind of weird. Pushing forward towards, moving forward. When they know... So basically, Billy Billy know that the enemy doesn't know where Vi is. So they can kind of read that Wukong is in the bush, but it seems like they don't give a fuck. A lot of shurikens here. It's like... Oh, Miss Singh has flash. Your goat has ever frosty. Oh! Over the wall, Knight. Come on, Knight. You could have finished the series right there, Knight. Come on, Knight. Come on, Knight. Come on, Knight. What is this, Knight? You're better than this. I wonder if uh, what what strategy Billy Billy will uh, deploy here because coming into the third Drake, this is not where Gwen's advantage will be felt. I think that uh, the best odds you will have if you want to leverage the strength of Gwendolina is to fight on soul, but the issue is fucking Hextech Drake just uh, it's too OP. That is very absurd that they're pushing so far forward. Ruler still has flash, he's holding it. Root? Oh, Ben wants more. It's very snowball in the fights if they can kill one, right? With the Vi and the Ari. He did. He made a deal with the devil. Okay. Oh, this is this is nice and all 369, but you did. The shield comes on through 369, using that ghost to try and buy himself space. Elk moving over as well on his ear. There's no way out for 369, but he still keeps it going somehow. Shun trying to chase it on out. Is this an execute? No way that this is an execute. 369 dodges the Q. Okay. Somehow it's a kill to the side. In the meantime, oh, JJ reeks of desperation here. I think Billy Billy are really, really looking good in this game. Really good. This is a dream situation here for for Bin. But the last time we saw Bin Gwen, he went like Morello. He went like Morello into Shadow Flame, into like full MR team. Here we go again. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. Da -da 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 Deja vu. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. That's how you waste your stopwatch. Your stopwatch for that? Knight has completely ran it down this game. I'm not gonna lie, man. Knight is on some smoke, dude. dude. Uh -oh. This is just top lane is getting caught out after chocolate coffees. Ben, Ben can't play, can't play. To get the CC chain down. Okay. Gwen ain't immune to that. That's a pretty big mistake here from Ben. He's contesting a neutral wave when the enemy team is already in river. I can need to wait for his team to connect. Now this Drake is such a big deal, man. You cannot give up these Drakes. Like this death is so so costly. Can I use ult? That's the only only underlying point here. But Billy, Billy. If you want to fight this, we are just we are just pulling up the O7s already, man. If you, want, if you want to fight this, if you want to fight this, we just O7s, O7s in the building right now. Oh, nice block on the Nautilus Q, very important, mate, mate. What were they thinking? I mean, it's a great engage from Yagao. The bin doesn't even have TP, so let's say, what did they... What are they buying time for? The 
CLG. I, I don't know what they were doing. All right, all sevens. They just dropped this because they had the gold lead. Just drop the ego because Bin was dead. Billy, Billy and taking fights they really shouldn't do, man. Fucking fight selection. Playoff was huge, but again, is hang on, hang on a second. Oh, Houdini. All right, Bin gets one. Congratulations, man. Hextech, Hextech portals. Actually, getting something long term. I guess at the end it's a one for one trade. You can speak so many languages and decide to speak facts. That's what's up. But now, soul point for JDG. Right, but there we go. Ward comes out. Tiangao looking for a pick on tonight, but the Everfrost is there to answer. And it in might reporter, be what is he buying? Instead, to escape Morello. With 369 is on the flank. In the meantime, Baron surely goes down. Cyclone in play. Yeah, Baron's gone in the meantime. It might not now. matter because he's level 16. He's still looking ambitiously as Yagawa has to flash over the wall. BLG getting out, though. Only losing on so far. Another charm lands. And BLG oh, on the chase out with the all out. Gwendolina, imagine how strong she, she could be if she could uh, have uh, Void Staff components now and a little Void Staff. Instead, she is chilling on Morello vibes. Uh, he's walking into this fight way stronger than Kekona. We got the TP on. Can we kill him? Can we snack on him? 369, slap him up. Slap him up. 6k, 5k. Boom, your goat on the flank. We see him, we see him. 3k, 3k. Kanavi. Kanavi. Getting debated here. Getting debated here. Oh, ruler, you madman. That's not how you play the game. Oh. 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 Kanavi went on a bit of an adventure. I think, though, at some point, Tom Kench and Kesante are just champions that don't provide you enough tools. It's like, I, I like I like the wristed ruler take. I like the wristed ruler take, too. He, he made Tom Kench an aggressive champ. I respect ruler for that, really. Uh, ruler going for that, I think it's good. Wait, 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 it's not end. He, he used Tom Kench ult aggressively, guys. He used Tom Kench ult aggressively. That's all that was. Okay, Ruler, well, show me what you got. A casual 3 hexic dragons, like everyone on the team has a fucking Nash's tooth. So free. Yeah, GG. What a, what a top gap. Honestly, JDG solo laners. JDG solo laners looked so fucking awful this game. Very different read on the meta right now. Is the Jinx and that Wukong you talked about locked in? Better than Vega. Oh, it's the LeBlanc hope, everyone. It's going to get all. Oh, even better. Even better is Bin's Fiora. Really? Let him cook. I will let him cook. I don't like it. Why Fiora over a jungler? Because they have a jungler. There's Vi on their team. Bro, if they pick trash here, they are so fucking psycho. Their draft is... Malphite trash? Malphite trash? Oh, Gragoon is nice. Yeah, I prefer blue side. Not super easy to predict. But from... Draft perspective, I think blue side is better. We just have to to see if if Knight and 369 are gonna run it down. That's what it comes down to in my opinion. Okay, Yagao has no spell. This is rough. No flash. It's gonna be a window with Knight to six. Maybe they can pressure. So this is gonna mean a lot for the first Drake spawn. Zun loses. No, Zun loses. I think. Ready for blood, but just back this is a Wukong. Jumps in, a bit of a burst trade, but that'll be in the early game. We know they're individually very sound. Oh, they're here. Vision is part of it. A stretch line starts us off. Hang on, the flash okay. as well. Big. BLG open up. Big, big, big. The bloody gates. I mean, missing, he's going to be on the side. Not sure why um, missing is posturing so hard here, because they already cleared the wave. It was, it's, it's strange because it looks like Ruler is aware, aware of the gank happening and he's playing towards it and Thresh is just, uh, just playing a completely different game. Nice. Little freeze in the top lane. No, he's fucked. This is nine is fucking night man. Oh, Gragas is moving. Support is very late, but Fiora is not in position. Fiora is very useless here. Oh, wow! 
three six nine. Okay. Follows him up, 369. Takes so long to die, though. And now the rest of the reinforcements Boom. are here. Knight already with a double kill in the fight, and he wants a little bit more than Sharp. Answer with the dredge line. Rocket goes wide. That's huge. Roller. That's huge. It'll just be the two for JDG. And get out wait, look at 369. <laughs> you gotta pay the troll toll. Whoa. It's beautiful stuff. Now waiting here is Yagao, still in a lot of danger. Explosive oh. cast used, 369 does a the fuck? Roll. In the meantime, Knight turns gold and he really Ah, oh, oh, it's a disaster. And now shouldn't the one in trouble. It's and it's all over. JDG, officially the spring oh, split champion. What a support, flashing for Your the goat. lantern to give tonight. The one everyone wants to battle you know the crazy thing is in that sequence the fact that Yagao was killed made Ari stopwatch get off cooldown so he could use it for the vials how crazy is that yeah definitely Honestly, Kanavi must be like so confused with some of the shit he says. I wonder how he copes with it. He's like, I don't think Blue Side was in any position to fight it either way. They had no Ario, no Wukong ult. I think that uh, they are so much stronger for the rest of the game that giving up this Drake is perfectly fine. I think Yagao had a great Ari game, but that's about it. So. Play been committed. There's no dragon here. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Knight looking for oh, you. The charm connects. Knight is a monster. <laughs> Knight is just too good at League of Legends. That was disgusting. We don't have experience in front of a crown. Another force from Shun. Here we go. Okay. They didn't even play Lantern on that. Gets one. Bro, 369 has put it on this game. Props to 369, man. He's everywhere. Look at this flimsy ass fucking Fiora trying to follow to the fights. Okay, how broken is Wukong? How broken is Wukong? Flashburn at level three by Kanavi. He's made a quiet game out of you, Gal. Now we have to see though as we get towards that hook landing onto Elk. He's caught out. This oh, the timing on the Grax battle is not good. The feathers fly and missing is down as Kanavi starts spinning with a three man. All right, we have Risa for Ruler. Look at Fiora being. Sucks to be Fiora. Look at Fiora. I long for a worthy opponent. Bro, Braga's roamed mid like 50 times. I think Kennen probably is the one. Just play something into Kennen. Oh, or like open cannon and then like trade Ari cannon Wukong. Like a three-way trade, something like this, you know? That's a hook. That's a jinx trap. That's a murder. There's Kanavi enjoying himself. Insta cleanse. Kanavi, Divine Sunderer. A little bit too much confidence in the Divine Sunderer there. He trusts his product. Yes, and then I'll be done at 14. Ben is getting a tier 2. Yes! Split a pushy! Yes! Alright, Fiora just go straight bot and leverage that wave. Go bot and leverage that wave, baby. Fuck the Drake. I like JDG setup here on the Drake. They push out top all the way and then they base and open on bot just to make sure that Ben is not like hitting their Nexus. The only pentakill in world finals history on. And Kanavi wants some kills. What? He's in a 2v1 and he just solo kills Yago. What am I witnessing? An absolute domination from JDG jungler. Fuck my life, guys. Nimbus Strike has 5% less attack speed. Ben also. Starting to prepare the push on bot uh, because the enemy is going to play Nash right after. The knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. 
there we go. Chemtech Soul Ooh, taken. Ooh, Chemtech Soul. BG. But now just going over to the Baron as well. And I mean, BLG. All right. Let's go, Fiora. Surely have to fight this. Can they just concede? I mean, they might be Let's go, Fiora. Whether they like it or not. Well, you can't mind it. Let's go, Fiora. Hit the turret. You have to ignore the Dragoon. The game, the Hit the, the turret, baby. That's one. That's two. Two out of six, guys. Two out of six, Fiora. Okay, Kanavi is too cold with it. Keep going. Keep going. You're going to TP into that, really? You hunt alone. You hunt alone, son. Himself safe, dodges away from the CC. He, he Q smite. It's not 50 50. I, I, I'm gonna start a petition. Uh, if, if, if one team is five players hitting the Nash and the other person needs to flash over the wall to fucking smite it, it's not fucking 50 50, son. All right, Fiora. Fiora, Fiora. No, Kanavi. Kanavi. Is this normal? Oh, this is not normally. Someone uh, check keyboard. Oh, Banshee's Bobo. All right, well, Nash, 40 more seconds. Can he break the top, top thing? Ella's going to spawn. Okay. Knight wanted to end the game. Not allowed. At least Fiora's having a good time. I'm just checking minimap always, and he's just not crossing the do not cross point. He's not even touched the tower. Yeah. Right now, with 25 seconds until Elder Dragon is Konami. on the map. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cyclone straight away gets into the back line and Rule is there. Woo, 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 again. Is on the back line. Shun goes in, but he's by himself. He'll buy some time. But Can I get a woo, woo? All right, Ben got one. Surely, Ben can carry this. Good for BLG. Yep. Honestly, Kanavi down as well. Just Ruler's old block. For Ruler as he looks for the second Nexus Tower, has that lantern. Holy oh, Ruler, Ruler. How cold are you, Ruler? Ice, baby, ice. To get himself to safety. No the W. There, no Ruler, Ben, 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 Chinese combo. Oh, redemption. Looking for a second and looking for the championship. His first domestic title in the LPL and his first split. The new Emperor's showcase in Jingdong. They oh. now hold the oh. legacy in the LPL as we bow to JDG once again. Ruler is a bit unbalanced. Ruler is cheat codes. In Jingdong Gaming, a magnificent victory here. Ruler is cheat codes. Domination across three maps. And BLG shown that the winner's bracket was just a flip on the radar. And that the number one seed means all Kanavi used to this feeling but ruler in the LPL is not but boy does he deserve it you look across this roster and you think that raw talent going to MSI as our first seed is bloody scary and they meet all expectations of the fans coming into the spring being clear favorites they deliver and they will be going holy shit first, like you said hysterics where are the super teams never work guys ruler now. where are those people they Where are those? The Where are those? Super teams never work. As, uh, Lift that trophy, baby. As well Holy home. shit. Kanavi being respectful. I like the fact that they're not... Stepping Do it together, baby, Mama Juju. And a well oh! For the emperors of the LPL. JDG, MSI oh, champion. Mid-season in Invitational. Time.